All right, kids, listen up. I just got off the phone with your principal. Hey, look, okay, that hole was already in the wall, okay? <laughs> All I did was look through it. <laughs> and took some pictures. <laughs> and sold them for money. <laughs> Actually, she called just to tell us that Paige and Patton's English teacher, Mr. Sheehan, has moved on to pursue other opportunities. I heard he's gonna sell cheese on the internet. Damn it, every idea I have. Patton, you're gonna be transferred into Miss Foley's class, and Paige, you're going into Miss Kilcoin's. You are so dead. Colleen Fallon said one dumb thing, and Kilcoin made her stay after class for a month until she finished the Three Musketeers. <laughs> it took her a month to eat a candy bar? <laughs> It only takes me a week. Well, we got off pretty easy. Usually when the principal calls, it's bad news. Oh, yeah, like Pierce is failing English, and if things don't improve, he's going to be held back? That is an excellent example. And you came up with it so quickly. Well, I'll see you. This is all your fault, Bob. All your fault. What did I do? You impregnated me and diluted my gene pool with your dumb, dumb chromosomes. You know, don't start that again. You are not smarter than me. I mean, sure, I was a bad student in high school, but I went to an excellent college. Your school went bankrupt. <laughs> if it weren't for their poor choice of name, College University would be a top school today. <laughs> Well, Pierce has a paper due, and I can't tutor him again. Every time I try, he drives me crazy. Last month, I asked him the theme of death of a salesman, and he said, Someone's dead. Who is dead? Someone's dead. A salesman! Big and happy have ironic names! Stop it! <laughs> We're just gonna have to hire him a tutor. No, we don't. I'll tutor him. <laughs> I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> Carol, do you really think that I'm not capable of helping our son get a passing grade on a high school English paper? Honey, the only thing you passed in high school was a bong. <laughs> and even then, we had to wrestle it out of your hands. I am going to help Pierce get a good grade on his paper and prove you wrong. Now, as the president of College University used to say, see you later. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I'm going to be in Miss Foley's class. She is so hot. Yeah. Check this out. I heard she left Lakewood High because she got caught making out with one of the students she was tutoring. What a coincidence. I need tutoring. <laughs> English is your best subject. You don't need tutoring. Yes, me do. <laughs> me among good on English. <laughs> you can suck or you can shine. Got a crowded house, but I've got mine Bust through the back door, stand in line You can suck or you could shine In the scarlet letter, Hester Prynne was forced to wear upon her chest oh, oh, um, A button, a shirt, soup? <laughs> no, a scarlet letter A And the A signified oh, oh, uh, um, Her name, her bra size, soup? <laughs> Dude, you're trying to make her think you need tutoring, not a telethon. Patton, I'll see you after class. Steve, I'll be deleting the picture you took of my butt. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? She wants to see me. Oh, it is on. <laughs> yes, Miss Foley? Patton, you seem to be having a little trouble comprehending the material. I know. I, I just wish Mr. Sheehan hadn't left. He used to help me after school. He'd rather sell cheese now, but I can't blame him. Cheese is probably smarter than me. Oh, don't say that, Patton. You're as smart as cheese. <laughs> Look, maybe I can find some time and tutor you. Really? Oh, thanks, Miss Foley. Me feel more smartful already. <laughs> hey, Chase. No practice tonight. I'll be doing some man-to-man -man coverage of my own. Well, not man-to-man. I have a date with a girl, is what I'm saying. Oh, well, cool. Just make sure you don't commit a three-second violation. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? I, I don't know. You're hard to talk to. <laughs> the wheels are in motion. Ah, Dude, she's tutoring me tonight. I even guilted her into canceling a date. Dr Patton, her date was with the coach. Oh, no. When he's in a bad mood, man, he tortures us. Hey, Chase! Oh. 
officers back on. Round up the team and start climbing the ropes. If my nads are gonna be sore tonight, so are yours. <laughs> So perhaps it is the townspeople who should have been branded with a scarlet letter, H, for hypocrisy. Any comments that won't bore me into a coma? <laughs> Couldn't one say the scarlet letter represents the marginalization of the female in a patriarchal context? At last, the smelling salt of original thought. She compared me to salt. <laughs> And now, let's hear from some of our new students. Paige Chase, what is behind that vacant stare? What are you thinking about? Uh, the fabric of society. And how, through suffering, it becomes the bright raiments of freedom? No, society. It's a new store at the mall. They have really awesome fabric. <laughs> Miss Chase, I will see you after class. Really? You're going to the mall, too? <laughs> I must believe that buried beneath that shiny veneer, there lies a glimmer of substance. Thank you. And I think there's a glimmer of prettiness buried beneath your questionable fashion sense. <laughs> your temerity is matched only by your audacity. And your blouse is matched only by these pants of my dad's that my mom made him throw away. <laughs> I've heard enough, Miss Chase. Look, it's not your fault. Our culture has made you think you're nothing but a smart, accomplished, educated woman. But if you applied yourself, you could be so much more. You could be a smoke and a hottie. I have no interest in being a hottie, smoking or otherwise. Come on, I've seen the way you look at Mr. Baden during the fire drill. He's the fire marshal. I, I have to look at him for further instructions. All I'm saying is, is if he spent less time reading and more time exfoliating, he might start returning the glances. You have awesome bone structure, a nice figure, and what looks like great hair under that hat. I'm not wearing a hat. Yeah, sure. All right, Pierce. I finished the scarlet letter. I'm ready to help you with your paper. So why don't you show me how far you got here? Okay. What the hell was that? It's my thesis statement. I mean, I'd show you the rest, but I need a top hat and a confetti cannon. I, I don't understand. You're gonna do a dance for your paper? The dance is a nonverbal expression of Dimsdale's solitude and pain. What, what was this part? Well, I mean, you still gotta fill the seats. <laughs> Look. Pierce, I think you're gonna have to do a paper that's actually written on paper. That has been done to death. I mean, next you're gonna want me to raise my hand in class instead of my pirate flag. What does a stroke feel like? Look, I'm gonna level with you. One of my biggest regrets is that I never got anything higher than a C in high school. And to this day, people still make fun of me for it. And by people, I mean your mother. Really? Yeah, she thinks that I'm not smart enough to tutor you. Just because my old college is now an Indian casino. Well, you're just gonna have to prove her wrong. So you're gonna write the paper? Oh, no. You are. Me? Well, that would be cheating. And, and really, really hard. Come on, you write the paper, we'll put my name on it. You get to prove to Mom that you're a good tutor and prove to yourself that you can get higher than a C. You're right. I'll do it. I mean, I read the book. I'm going to write a paper that's going to come back with a big letter A on it. Just like Hester Prynne. <laughs> I'm sorry, who's that? Uh. Ow. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. If I could lift my arms right now, I would crush your windpipe. No! Why the hostility? Coach, 
was so pissed about Miss Foley canceling on him that he made us do 500 push-ups, 500 chin-ups, and then shoot 500 foul shots. I made three. <laughs> I worked hard on Miss Foley too, okay? I did 500 butt glances, 500 foot oopsies, and uh, 500 boob brush attempts. I also made three. <laughs> when are you gonna be done with this ridiculous plan, man? I'm dying here. I barely had enough strength to button my pants. Hey, a woman like Miss Foley requires a slow, subtle approach. Phase one, she tutors me. Phase two, I blossom and so does our relationship. <laughs> Phase three, my tongue hooks up with her tongue for Saliva Dance Party USA. Bust through the back door, stand in line.